Hi everyone, it's Miss Clark with The Bad Guys. Book three, The Furball Strikes Back, we're starting on chapter six. So remember, there was a ninja that saved the bad guys, and now we're about to learn more about her. And they thought that she was a boy, but she is a girl. Chapter six, The Secret Agent. Who are you? My name is Special Agent Fox, Mr. Shark, and I'm very pleased to meet you. I'm afraid you boys have stumbled into a very dangerous situation. Dr. Rupert Marmalade is one of the most despicable villains on the face of the earth. We've been on his tail for years trying to catch him in the act. It seems we've finally done it. Despicable there means really, really terrible, just awful. We? Who's we? I'm an agent for the International League of Heroes. We're a secret global organization sworn to protect the earth from evil. And that is what we do. Oh, she doesn't have a little necklace that says an H on it. Hey, that's kind of what we do, isn't it, Wolfie? Wolfie? What's up with him? So awesome. So pretty. Uh, oh, it seems like Mr. Wolf might have a crush on the secret agent. I'm not sure what's happening. Never mind. We are the Good Guys Club, Agent Fox, at your service. <laughs> the Good Guys Club? Is that what you call yourselves? Yep. We sat up all night trying to think of the stupidest name in the history of stupid names, and bam, there it was. Oh, I don't know. I think it's kind of cute. Oh my gosh, Mr. Wolf just says heart, 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 heart. But I'm afraid you're a little out of your depth here, boys. Your antics at the chicken farm made old Dr. Marmalade here obsessed with you. But don't worry, we'll soon have him safely locked up. Won't we, Marma? Oh dear. Has anyone seen where the supervillain went? Right here, Agent Fox. Whoops, that's unfortunate. And I do hope you enjoy the end of the world. <laughs> Uh-oh, it looks like he's getting ready to push that button. My secret weapon has been released and it's on its way. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> oh, and just to make things a little more interesting, this building will self-destruct in 90 seconds. 89, 88, 87, 86. Okay, so something has been released, a secret weapon. It looks like Dr. Marmalade is flying up through this tube and now this building is going to get ready to destroy itself. Hmm, the old disappearing up a great big bendy tube trick. That's disappointing. 76, 75, 74, 73. Well, the building is about to blow and we have seconds to live. Any ideas, gentlemen? Oh, it looks like nobody has an idea. Let's keep reading, that was a short chapter. Learning to Ride a Bike, Chapter Seven. Aha, there's a stroke of luck, motorcycles. 60, oh my gosh, they have only 60 seconds now. That's one minute, 59, 58, 57. Climb aboard everyone and I'll get you out of here. We won't all fit on one motorcycle. Hmm, you could be right. I don't suppose any of you can ride one of these. Yep, you can? Yeah, really? Yeah. Okay, I think maybe Mr. Wolf is not telling the truth. I think he's trying to impress Agent Fox. And I think he's never maybe ridden a motorcycle before. Marvelous. Well, you take Mr. Snake and I'll get the others to safety. Good luck, Mr. Wolf. Oh, she gives him a little kiss on the cheek. Peck. Oh, and he's got hearts in his eyes. Oh my goodness. 32, 31, 30. They only have 30 seconds left. That's half of a minute. 29. We'll see you outside, gentlemen. So, Agent Fox is taking Mr. Piranha and uh, Legs and Mr. Shark. There's Legs. There's Mr. Shark. And Mr. Wolf is left with Mr. Snake. Bye! I didn't know you could ride a motorcycle. Hmm. I didn't know either. What? Well, how hard can it be? 26. 25, 24, why did you say you could? I just didn't want to disappoint her. You know what, what? Let's just put the pedal 
to the middle. Oh my gosh, it looks like he's popping a wheelie. I don't think he's doing that on purpose. Looks like Mr. Snake is about to fly off. Uh-oh. Arg! What are you doing? It's not on purpose. Oh my gosh, now he's upside down. Wow, you have a very unusual style, Mr. Wolf. Very impressive. But I'm afraid things are going to be a little more difficult than we thought. Hmm. Oh, really? Why is that? He's completely upside down still. Laser cannon. Remember there was a laser cannon that uh, blew up their car? And now there seems to be another laser cannon. Oh, and it's firing. Zap. Wolf, you're heading straight for the cannon. Zoom. It's not my fault. I can't ride a motorcycle. Wow. He really is awfully brave, isn't he? Well, yes. In Bolivia, we have a name for people like that. We call them idiots. <laughs> so Mr. Piranha is saying that he's not really brave. He's just not being very smart right now. I hate you, Wolf. Well, I don't hate you, Snake, and I won't give up on you no matter what happens. I'm sorry. I ate you earlier, but I'm not sorry for getting you into all this trouble. This is what heroes do, and I be truly believe you have a hero inside you, Mr. Snake, and I'll never stop believing that, ever. You're crazy, and you're going to get us killed. Maybe, but not today. Jump. Okay, it looks like they're, he's jumping off of the motorcycle with Mr. Snake, that's good, and the laser has shot the motorcycle and destroyed it. Kaboom! We're out! Oh my gosh. And Mr. Snake is holding on, I should say Mr. Wolf's foot is holding on to Mr. Snake, and Mr. Snake is doing a handstand on top of Mr. Shark. Wow. This building will self-destruct in 10 seconds. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, everyone take cover. Four, three, two, one. Oh boy. And chapter eight is coming up next. It seems like there wasn't an explosion. We'll have to keep reading and find out.